Today we are at Buffalo Wild Wings and we're here to try their new happy hour item, the bird dog. Now that is basically a hot dog, except not a hot dog, a chicken tender on a hot dog bun made three different ways. Now they sell it all day and combo it up with some fries, but a happy hour, I think it's five dollars. So we're here to try that. So are you ready, Bobby? I'm ready. Let's rock and roll. Let's rock and roll. Let's take a look at the new bird dogs. Add one to your meal for $6.29. The first one, the loaded dog. You got ham breaded chicken tenders, wild honey mustard, grilled onions, and Belgian fat tire beer cheese, green onions, brioche bun. There's your next one, the honey barbecue. It's got french fries on it, slaw and honey barbecue sauce, ranch and green onions and the buffalo dog. Slaw, medium, buffalo sauce, ranch, green onions, and the brioche bun. There's your happy hour, your drinks, your drafts, and your bar food. All right, let me explain to you about these. So you can add one of these to your meal for $6.29, or if you wanna get two or three of them, can do that and what we did if you come in at happy hour they're five dollars each now these are only available for a limited time Bobby was talking about how many calories they had did it tell you let's see 510 looks like on most of them 580 on that one that one's 460 so the buffalo dog is the healthiest but none of them are healthy since we were here for happy hour, we decided to add these on for $3. Here, a lot of chips. Yeah. Well, chips are warm. Some tomatoes in there. Looks like what, some green onions maybe? Yeah, yeah some regular onions. Some regular onions. Loaded it up. There we go. I heard the crunch. Mm -hmm. Take a look at all those onions, guys. There's a lot of spices and flavors going on here. The chips were nice and fresh and warm. I thought it was a little spicy, but I was able to eat it because I have plenty of water to drink. I'm anxious to try these. I get some onions on there. I have to voice over this section because YouTube got us with the copyright claim. You guys can probably hear the music, it's pretty loud in here. But what I was talking about here, I was telling Bobby I agreed with her on the spice. The spice isn't what I thought it would be, it's like a medium. And we wanted to look inside, we could see the onions and the tomatoes and the sauce. But it also, we thought, has maybe cilantro, maybe some chopped up jalapeno. But we're gonna find out next week. Now we are from West Virginia for the Mountaineers. And there's our head coach, Bob Huggins, Huggy Bear. A lot of West Virginia stuff all around this place. So there is some jalapenos in that and cilantro. Yeah, that's what the green stuff is chopped up. So it is it is spicy. The more I mean, the hotter my mouth's getting. So if you don't like spices, I'm not sure I would get this. No, it has good flavor. It is spicy. That's great flavor. Mm -hmm. It's more like a medium. Yeah. Maybe it may be a, a little bit hotter than a medium after you eat it because yeah. my mouth's well, kind of burning. I usually buy mild. That's what we usually get is a mild for me. Bobby's been drinking a lot of her water. <laughs> 
something for three dollars. I think it's a pretty good deal. Yeah, and that's at happy hour. Yeah, that's happy hour, three to six. I'm not sure what this costs any other time, but I don't think we've ever had these at BW3. No, we have not. Good time to come. You get these, the mozzarella sticks, those bird dogs, and I think uh, some pretzel knots at happy hour. Okay, guys, there are the bird dogs. There's your loaded one. It's a beer cheese, honey barbecue, and the buffalo. Now this first one loaded has wild honey mustard on there. Now I heard it's extremely hot. So I don't think Bobby's gonna try that one. Bobby, which one are you thinking about trying? I'm gonna try this one right here. The buffalo one. Yeah. All right, before Bobby eats this, I'm gonna show you what it's supposed to look like. Right there. It looks about like the picture, except this one has blue cheese on it. Let's see, we have some slaw on there. I think a little bit. Yep. Not I'll a lot. get your medium buffalo sauce, green onions, and some ranch, and a brioche toasted bun. There you can see the slaw a little bit better. See the slaw in there now? Looks like a nice hand breaded right. chicken tender. And Bobby just took the first bite. What did you chicken think? Chicken tender has a good uh, flavor to it. Um, a little bit of coleslaw there. I got more, I think, the blue cheese flavor more than anything because blue cheese overpowers it. Well, you know, blue cheese is not in the picture, but I'm kind of glad they added that on I did too. That. I like it with the buffalo ranch and got, the, yeah. the sauce there. What the coleslaw? Like? Could, could you get the bite of the coleslaw in there? I'll try it. Got a little bit of the coleslaw there. It's, it's not a creamy or anything. It's just, I think it's, there you go. You it's just it. cut up a little bit and then you got your ranch sauce over that. Onions. And then the buffalo sauce. Yeah, medium. Now, is it too hot for you? No. I'm going to try the honey barbecued. Bobby, it's the second one. Show them that. Okay. Second one down. You guys can see that at home. It looks like that. Yeah. It's yeah. supposed to have, it's got the hand breaded chicken tender on there. Got your natural cut French fries, honey barbecue sauce, ranch and green onions, just like you. This one doesn't have slaw on it. So let's just cut this one in half also. They Doing yeah. great, thank you. And they toasted that, it looks like. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, you see it's toasted. Yeah. And you got to, it's just open. The hands won't be messy. Got some fries on there. Now there's some slaw on there. Did I say it was slaw on that one supposed to be? You have uh, some. Yeah, it does say slaw. I just said slaw, little fries, barbecue sauce, decent sized chicken tender. Mm -hmm. Let's try it out. Well, after biting that, Love the toasted bun, the chicken tender, it's excellent, ham breaded. Could taste a little bit of the fries in there. The thing I like about BW3 is their sauces. Yeah. That barbecue sauce is sweet. It's a nice flavor, the honey barbecue sauce. So I'll be able to try that one. You'll be able to try this one. Let's go to the hot one. Before we go on to the hot one, Bobby's gonna try honey barbecue. She likes honey barbecue sauce. So the barbecue sauce is sweet on that. Yeah. It's a nice chicken tender, but I'm still gonna go with the first one I had because I think I'm a fan of the blue cheese. I might as well try the buffalo one then, and I love buffalo sauce. I'm gonna agree with Bobby. This one's definitely better. The other one's good. This one's better. That blue cheese really adds that. And I love buffalo sauce, but let me show you. Blue cheese is not listed as one of the ingredients on there. So I don't know if they've switched the menu, but I'm glad we came to this one and they put it on there. Because that really takes it up a notch. I'm going with the loaded one. Just compare it again. Top one. It's the top one. Can you see it? Yes. Now, the only thing I've noticed, they look about the same. The only thing I've noticed that the picture one, the chicken tenders are a little bigger than they are on these. The ones on there are going up the whole bun. This one's not. So let's break it down. Your toasted brioche hot dog bun, hand breaded chicken tender. There's your beer cheese, your wild honey mustard. You got some onions, no slaw on here. You got grilled onions this time. Okay. Interrupt this video for a second. I know you guys are looking at those buns thinking they might be overly toasted or burnt, but when we ate them, they didn't taste burnt at all. They tasted great. This one I think is gonna be spicy. 
So I'm gonna go right in. Right there's the honey mustard. That's supposed to be what's hot on there. I'm going right in. Forgot to cut this one. So I cut it, because that first bite, I got mainly all bun, because the tender didn't come all the way out to the end. Got the beer cheese on there, some onions. And that first bite of that, I got a lot of the beer cheese. I didn't get a lot of the honey mustard. I can see the honey mustard on this one. And that's supposed to be wild honey mustard, because I watched some people on YouTube already do this, and they thought that it was very hot. This, to me, is not hot. You taste the onions in here, the real onions. So I'm gonna go back in and get right on this honey mustard right here. All right, that bite, I got that honey mustard. And that honey mustard, I watched that guy today just sweating like crazy. He couldn't even stand it dipping in ranch. I don't get that. This, to me, is not as hot as that salsa. Mm. It's got a nice flavor now on you. Been on this one. Could definitely taste the honey mustard over the beer cheese. I like the honey mustard flavor better than I do the beer cheese. I mean, mixed together, this one is mainly maybe the way they put it on. This one had more beer cheese. I couldn't taste the honey mustard. But I like this one too. With the grilled onions on there. But I still like just a plain buffalo with that blue cheese. So I'll be number three. I think what you should do is revamp this ingredient. Put this blue cheese on there. It's not on there. Bobby, I think you might be able to try this. Nice. All right, she's going John for it. John says I can do it. Yep. I wasn't gonna let her do it after watching that guy today. All right, so I tried them both. I do get a little bit of heat, but not like bad. Like you said, I think the salsa was actually hotter than this. Yeah. I like the grilled onions on this, but I'm still gonna go with the first one we tried with the blue cheese. And we both agreed on that. Yeah. So if you come here, take our advice, you wanna get the buffalo dog. That was our favorite out of the three, but they were all three good. Yeah, they were all But my least favorite was the honey barbecue. Yeah, mine too. Okay guys. Let's look at the menu. Chips and salsa, two dollars. I thought they said three dollars, but I'll take them for two. The three bird dogs, I guess, because we bought three of them, we get a discount on that. They were only thirteen forty-nine. It says five dollars a piece, but I know when you buy them on the regular menu, the more you buy, you save. So that's probably how that was. Grand total of sixteen forty-two. That is not bad. Well, we just left BW3 and tried out their new happy hour item, the bird dog. Bobby, what did you think of it? The buffalo was my favorite. Now, they had blue cheese on that one. John said when we read the description, it didn't come with blue mm -mm. cheese. But hopefully when you go get one, yours will have blue cheese Ask on them it. to put it on if it, it doesn't have it. Really good flavor. had a little bit of the uh, coleslaw on it. It, it wasn't like a creamy coleslaw, was it? It was just no. like something chopped up with it, and then you had your... And you like the ranch? I did. I like the ranch combined with that. Uh, the chicken tenders were a little bit smaller than what we saw on the, the menu, but it, different areas probably get different yeah, size different chicken, ones. but the chicken was good. The chicken tenders were... And that hot dog bun being toasted, that brioche yeah, hot dog bun. Yeah, I like the way they did that. Now, tried all three of them. My favorite, also, I'm with Bobby, the buffalo one was the best. Uh, my second favorite was the loaded one. Now, I watched people eat that online. They said it was very spicy. I didn't get that from it. I would consider it a medium. I thought the salsa was hotter than the uh, wild honey mustard. I like the beer cheese on there. The honey barbecue one was all right. Had the fries on there, but still, the buffalo one's the best. All three of them were good. We got three of them for $13, so it's probably like I saw on the menu. If you order more of them, you get a discount. Like they were $6.29, I think it said. You can buy two for 10 some. So that probably goes over to Happy Hour where they're $5 each. So the more you buy, they're cheaper. So filled us up, guys, with that salsa for $2 for that salsa, too. So if you guys are wanting to pick these up, I think these are just limited time. I don't think they're going to stay on the menu. I'm not positive. Sun's bothering me. Sun is bothering Hey, Mountaineer Coliseum back there. We'll put a picture of Bob Huggins in this. Wait till you see how big he is next big to guy. Bobby. Yeah, but um, come here at between three and six at the happy hour time. That's a really good price. Oh, I mean, we ate yeah. all that for like John said, sixteen dollars. And there was other items. I mean, there's drinks, so it's a good time to come at this yeah. place. And our waitress Caitlin, you did a great job. She did. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Yeah. So until we meet again, J, J and B have left the building. <laughs>